previously on Mega Co-op Mining from Nothing to a Hyperion. We created a brand new co-op, set the rules, and grinded away getting to the Dwarven Mines, to the Crystal Hollows, and all the way to HOTM Tier 6. Yeah. Guys, so we made some pretty crazy progress in just the first 36 hours. And it's time to go even crazier. So hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump into it. Back on the island, we can check our chests. And because this is a mega co-op, we have tons more gear, more setups, more money. You can already see the full sorrow set right here, which I'm actually going to grab. I'll also take a personal compactor, an AOTE, and a staff. I don't know about you, but I feel like this set should just have some quick prot 5 and growth. But with that, we're looking pretty good. So we can hit the hub. And of course, we ended last episode getting tons of money. So there's 10 mil in the bank. And our jungle keys will be getting us another 7.6 mil. Then after we unlock the beautiful craft for the gemstone gauntlet, we can buy some gemstones and some gold to craft it up. You guys know this thing is a go-to must-have when mining. Plus, it's super upgradable with its gemstone slots. And it's just all around a really good pickaxe for progression. That's actually crazy too. It got us from carpentry level five all the way to level 14. Anyway, let's go ahead, take this good stuff, hop in the crystal hollows and get back on the HOTM grind. Yo, let's go, let's go. That commission milestone tier five is crazy because guys, this gives us 1.6 million mining XP and a royal pigeon. I no longer have to come back to this emissary. I have this beautiful guy that I can just simply right click and claim commissions on. Huge. The great thing about unlocking the royal pigeon is that you can go to rusty and buy tons more for the rest of the co-op not gonna lie grinding with this gauntlet makes everything so much easier plus with the pigeon and the fast chest opening like we should fly through this last level 40 percent and counting and then oh my gosh rvv out with hotm tier 7 already too he is crazy we're flying dude and all the way up to mining 35 too and there's mining 36 along with more progress on the HOTM bar. Wow. Tomaton slain commission milestone tier six conquered. Oh my gosh. Warp nucleus. I'm going crazy right now. You guys can't tell, but I am hyped. And I was trying to wait for this prehistoric egg to hatch, but it's taken too long. So let's go ahead and claim it, guys. You can see we're already at 842 now. So bang. Here we go, mining 38. And we can go ahead and grab that travel scroll, which will make my life so much easier. What do we have here? Some jade, some amber as we hit mining level 37. And check this out. We're literally so close. Those daily boosts came through and helped so much. So we literally just have to go ahead and mine a little bit of this. Maybe a little bit of that. Slay some of these. And then on Skyblock level 35, we can right click our Aurora staff one more time and claim the commission for Heart of the Mountain tier 7. Maxed that out. Let's go. At this point, it's me, RVV Al, and Moderate Apple. We've got three of the eight already with a maxed out Heart of the Mountain. Next up for us, Powder Mining. That is right. We grabbed a quick few hours of sleep. Now we're back on and we can start powder grinding. You need HOTM7 to powder grind, essentially for the powder buff. But we also want to go ahead and unlock Mining Fortune. And I think down here we want Sky Mall. But now, just to go ahead and click through, we want to add as much as we can to Powder Buff, to Mining Fortune, and most importantly, to Great Explorer. At the moment, we have a total of about 700k powder. Honestly, pretty good. But the goal is to have a few million of both of them. So let's go ahead and take this setup, hop back into the Crystal Hollows, and then get going. I think we're going to spend a bit of time in a bunch of different areas. But for now, we can head over here, maybe collect a chest or two, and honestly, just find a spot to get mining. Dang. Great Explorer is already at such a good spot to where it literally only takes one tick, which is amazing. We'll be able to go through so quickly. Plus, we did get some upgrades to our gauntlet. I think there's a few of them running around the co-op at this point. And so we've got Compact on here. We've got Fortune 4. And both of those should help a ton. So here we go. Uh, you can see in the top left up here that it's going pretty well. I'm doing about 100,000 per hour with this setup and these stats. But that rate is hopefully going to increase pretty soon here. Because we have 200,000 powder and can max out our Great Explorer perk. That gives 
gives us an increased 96% chance to get a chest and maxing the perk makes it so that you just have to right click chests to open them. Super easy. Let's continue to power through. Starting to get a little laggy for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does make it a pretty good spot for us to stop for the night. We're up to about 800,000 mithril and 350 gemstone powder. And we're probably gonna want to give the majority of this to kind of mole and powder buff at this point, equally upgrade them both. Then of course you can see my inventory. I've got probably about half a stack of every robot piece, which is pretty nice. It should add up to some pretty decent cash. So let's hit the bazaar and just start throwing these orders up. Got 400K there, 600K there, 570, 1.2 mil, 300k, and of course, sell the Robotron reflectors for last. That's going to be 7 million coins. In addition, we've got tons of enchanted hardstone. We've got a million coins there, and then even more of this stuff from our enchanted mining sack. Bang, another 2.7 and 1.3. And then, of course, just back to the island to drop our gear off. It'll be back on the powder grind tomorrow. Here we are back the next day. The EU folks have been grinding. All of these goblin eggs going crazy. RVVL, 20 million coins worth of blue goblin eggs plus we're storing about 30 million coins right here that leads me to believe that the bank yes sir is almost completely full another 50 million coins now i know we're trying to save up for those final setups but for right now i'm going to spend a little bit of money i want a booster cookie so badly we've gone through this whole series so far without one 8.2 mil that sucks but i made the purchase it was expensive, but it will do wonders for us by giving us more XP. We won't lose money when we die, and hopefully we'll get some bits as well. Now, over in the auction house, since we have so many people grinding, I think we have to go ahead and buy another Aurora Staff. This one right here, 2 mil. I am happy with that purchase. And then I also want to go ahead and buy another Gemstone Gauntlet. Now, depending on the price here, 16 mil, I might want to come back to the bazaar and buy 16 gold blocks, as well as 8 flawless ruby gemstones in order to craft it up then since rvvl is finding so much success there i say we switch it up and we move into the goblin holdout for a little bit of powder mining over here the goal of course tons of blue goblin eggs we want powder but we also want that money let's go our first blue goblin egg ww now give me some more another 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 we're crazy Alrighty, back to the hub because it's been quite the grind we got almost a full double chest of goblin eggs so let's hit the bazaar and sell a few items we'll go for all of the blue goblin eggs first that'll be two and a half mil in my chest i got 10 additional blue goblin eggs it could be an order of 45 million coins but i might just sell them instantly so 43 mil beautiful 1.8 mil in yellows a mil in greens and just 350k of reds while we're in the hub as well we're gonna go ahead and talk to elizabeth to purchase a god potion and we'll actually get a handful of these so unfortunately i don't have any alchemy levels but this will give me 12 hours of decent potion effects it'll be very nice to have those now you can tell here that i've switched to yog gear i've also grabbed this even more refined mithril pickaxe for that plus 10 percent mithril powder and we're gonna head back to the nucleus and actually try and powder mine down below bow should be just over here and so what we're gonna do is kill bow collect the loot and then just powder mine right nearby until he spawns again guys i really want a bow pet so i'll try this for a couple hours and we'll see how it goes unfortunately i don't think we're able to get a bow pet right now but are really just getting unlucky with the drop while we're out here though we are making more money i can hit the bazaar because i've gotten four additional blue goblin eggs and with orders filling we're making more and more money so much money in fact that i think it's about time to make some more big purchases so what we're gonna do is head to the hub we're gonna grab 41 million coins the entire bank we're up to 116 mil over 100 mil doing amazing on the series progress but we're gonna spend almost all of it right now on a Devon set you might have thought that we would only be going for sorrow but no let's go absolutely crazy and let's purchase some boots a helmet some pants and hopefully I have enough for a chest plate 27 million coins check it out this is sick obviously there is a lot more work to be done here though let's see if we could maybe go over to the bazaar and put in a buy order for a few jaderolds hopefully these go through and the set
set will start to go crazy. Meanwhile, we'll just throw the set in the chest and we'll continue back to the nucleus and on with our powder grinding. There we go, another mining level. You love to see that. And oh my God, check it out, check it out. Ah, uh, <laughs> not an epic, dude. That's painful. Now, it is quite unfortunate that we only dropped an epic and not a legendary. But this thing is still 12 million coins. Plus, we can run over to Cat, throw it in there, and start this upgrade to legendary for only 100 Yagis and 2 million coins. Now, the tough part about this upgrade is that it takes 10 whole days to happen. So, we're going to use the rest of our bits from our cookie on cat flowers. We'll then need to buy just four more, and our pet will soon be complete. Next up, we're going to do one last stint of powder mining, though, and we're going to do it in the jungle area right next to this key guardian. The plan is to powder mine with this jungle pickaxe so that we get tons of chests, tons of powder, tons of sludge juice, and then when the key guardian spawns, we'll come over here, slay him out, and hopefully throughout this process, make tons of money from both sludge and jungle keys. So let's get to it. Ayo, just ran into Ottawa. We have a bunch of jungle hearts, so we can make some quick trades here to get a couple jungle amulets. Of course, one for myself and one for another co-op member. That's an extra 10 fortune when we need it. Max bestiary, that's just, that's wild that we got that. Bestiary tier 15, 250 kills. Wow. And lobby closed, but good progress here. And just by the way, we are at about seven days on the profile here. So a week in and progress is pretty good, if you ask me. In addition to our wild amount of key guardian kills, we also have tons of powder that we've grinded up. 250, 250 right now to go ahead and place. Getting us to over 3 million mithril and 3.6 million gemstone powder. So at this point, I think it's time to get ready for money mining. We're going to head to the hub and sell all of our sludge juice. That includes this inventory here plus a full e-chest page here and everything else that we've been putting up along the way which includes about six more sell offers that'll be a total of over seven million coins then with the jungle keys we'll make an additional 12 mil yellow cake eater got 30 mil and so far rv vial is a little bit ahead of everybody and he's been using the devon set to have gotten 100 million coins already with this money i'm going to go ahead and grab one additional booster cookie and we're going to swap from our yog set to our sorrow set. Since RVVL is going to continue using that Devon set, this is going to be the main set that we use for our money mining. So we're going to go ahead and put a buy order in for two Jaderalds and one rock gemstone. That should get the reforges set up for our armor and our gauntlet. Following that, we'll warp over to the end to go ahead and finish off our equipment set. So once it drops, we will pick it up and drop everything else from the end because this is a mining only profile and we cannot make any money there. But let's grab some shiny prisms and reforge this whole set to glistening for an extra 40 mining fortune. Boom. At this point, I've set up a buy order for pristine. A titanium relic might be a little expensive, but maybe a ring will be worth it. So I'll grab one of those. Then finally, I'll go ahead and buy a perfect topaz, flawless amber, and flawless jade gemstone. When the rest of our buy orders fill, we can go ahead, claim them up, and finalize the gauntlet with our beautiful gemstones and our beautiful pristine five. Lastly, in the crystal hollows, we'll set up a quick path to mithril mine. We wanna do this to level up our pet. Right now it's at level 70 and to level up our mining skill. So we'll jump that all the way from 39 to 40, to 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Oh, finally. It is time to reset the heart of the mountain tree. Now we want as much, I guess, speed and fortune as possible. We're gonna shoot up the middle to mole. We'll go to the right for fortune. We'll go to the left for the mining speed. Mithril will pretty much all be spent on mining speed and mining fortune. And we actually have enough to max both of those. As for gemstone powder, let's jump into mining fortune, mining speed, and professional. We were almost able to max out some of these as well. Now let's hit the auction house for a bejeweled collar. Throw that on Bao now that he's maxed. And I think we're ready to go. So the time is here. I've got 100 mil on me. There's about 100 in the bank slash bazaar 
and RV Vial has 100 as well, putting us at 300 total right now. Our initial goal of the series is just a Hyperion, so the cheapest one is looking to be about 900 million coins, which means we have about 600 mil to go. Honestly, in such a big mega cop, I'm hoping we can get this in just two to three days. It sounds doable, especially because I'm advancing to ruby mining right now. I've got all my waypoints set in the crystal hollows exactly where I want to grind, so I'm just going to head over there and bomb to open up these veins. With a massive chunk exposed, we can just kind of go crazy. Let's do it. These are our stats right here, and they will continue to increase as I level up and as I get more powder. So just finished up in my last lobby and have to set up a new one, but we're doing pretty well. Almost half in each chest of fine ruby gemstones already, and adjusted my HOTM tree a little bit. So here are the stats. I don't know how different they are from before, but let's keep on grinding. Gonna go ahead and grab the Devon set actually from Moltres because Cole did just get elected mayor and he grants two times drops mining fiestas which will start up in an hour and a half baby let's go while we are waiting for the fiesta to start I'll take a few seconds to ask you all to hit that like button it really does show me how much you like the series and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed we are getting to the point on this channel where 100,000 subscribers is somewhat within reason and it would just mean everything to me if you all helped me make that happen i would be willing to do anything even like foraging from nothing to hyperion so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and there we are the event just started let's make some money double drops baby double drops i think in about five seconds here we actually hit the one hour mark of this fiesta in which we've finished off our first hs page and started on our second so decent progress off the bat oh my gosh mining level 50 has just been hit. That's crazy. GG. And here we are just as our god potion is about to expire. The mining fiesta has concluded. We kind of went crazy there. I might wait to sell because I think prices are pretty in the ground right now. But I'll sell the little bit of topaz that we got. And I'll show you that we got three e-chest pages basically of fine rubies. I want to say that's about 100 million coins and a pretty decent effort. However, it has taken a late into the night so i'm gonna head back to my island at this point and toss my gear into the chest what the heck dude i'm back to mining the next day and i found the ruby crystal i didn't even know that that was possible to get just from mining the gemstones rvv is 0 0.002 percent chance kind of useless but also kind of cool i guess let's just keep going all right so we are just starting to grab a new lobby but I realized I can hit slash playtime and we're over 100 hours. In fact, 123, almost 124 hours has gone into this series already. And that's just from my end. I know RV Vial is at about 140 hours and others are getting close to that 100 hour mark as well, which is absolutely insane. I figured there's another mining fiesta in 10 hours, which unfortunately will be while I'm sleeping. So we might as well just sell all the ruby that we have currently to the NPC. That'll be this inventory right Right here and it'll include all three of these each chest pages full to the max let's go ahead and grab them and inventory by inventory sell them off to the NPC so I'll just quickly click through it all that's one page done and a second about to be done and we'll keep going through this last inventory here Wow 112 times 1.22 Pretty sure that's about 140 million coins we just made. We've got a mill here, 3.3 mil here. Somebody else grinded and sold some blue goblin eggs that we can claim. We can sell these refined minerals. Then in the auction house, I think we've started to go ahead and sell some of those old armadillos that we used. I threw my level 100 up for 6.9 mil. We're also selling the ruby drill that we've used. So seven of these items gives us another 20 million coins. That puts our purse to 310 mil. Then I'm sure you might have seen in the bazaar these gold blocks. RVVL grinded up 300 mil himself. He unlocked the nether and has been mining quartz with the Devon set. Anyway, with the 35 mil in the co-op bank, we're at about 650 million coins already. Anyway, let's keep mining as there's only about 200 mil to go. Honestly, though, with Moltres hard on the cobble grind, just made another 16 mil. There's a possibility we make it tonight. His sale actually reminds me if I go into my mining sack, I never sold all that mithril. 16,000 enchanted mithril. Let's throw all of this to the bazaar as well. 80 
50k a stack 255 stacks that's maybe another 20 mil or so then a couple inventories of enchanted hardstone for four mil in inventory so yeah we are just cooking out here so Moltres just logged off meaning i can grab the devon set and he left his money in the bazaar as well 52 million coins worth gg there and rvvl's 300 mil our purse is up to 732 mil. I'm going to go ahead and pop one final god potion. Then we're going to hit the nucleus. And hopefully this lobby can take us over the finish line here. Mining 52 right there in skyblock level 50. Let's grab these ruby gemstones and send them off to the NPC. Then we'll throw the topaz in the bazaar. And we're up to about 760 million coins. Actually, you know what? I've been mining for another 30 or so. I think we're just going to sell the rest along with the fine ruby and topaz from my sack. And that'll give us another 3.6 mil. Also in our sacks, we've got tons of oil barrels. We additionally have tons of other items in our sacks. That's 5.7 million coins. We're just so close here. Honestly, let's just sell our bow pet for 66 mil and our jaded sorrow chest plate for 21 mil. When those both sell, we'll be able to claim the 75 million coins and make the purchases. A buy order has already filled for eight laser eyes, which we can claim. And then after starting with zero, we have 855 million coins in our purse, which is more than the 839 million coins for the cheapest Necrons handle. So we can make that purchase. Wither catalysts are the last piece to the puzzle. We need 24 of them, which we can buy and get crafting. Our handle and catalysts give us a Necrons blade. Then that in the middle of some laser eyes gives us one of the best weapons in the game the Hyperion and before you all go commenting down below that this thing is kind of useless without the scrolls it is still the base it is the Hyperion and we're willing to do more if you guys show that you really like the series Dragoon what do you think uh, I think 10,000 likes 10,000 likes and we hypermax this guy yep sounds good to me so that's gonna be the rule 10,000 likes smash that button below the grind has been so crazy though because Moltres got macro checked I mined over 50 million gemstones and RVVL just blows everyone away with 68 million cobble, 5 million quartz, and tons of hardstone as well. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to show it. Also use code SWEET in the Hypixel store. We'll see you all in the next one, hopefully when we continue on this series. Adios and goodbye.